user name type string so for me the username is required for me the username is required okay yeah. um, let's say whenever i require whenever i pass my username i need to get the user aura let's say attribute name equal to user so name equal to usr details type equal to user now whenever i pass information to this whenever i pass information to this if i click get user details if i click a button called get user details it need to call my server it need to call my server and it need to get my user details it need to get my user details so for that we need to create one apex class server controller user detail my class name the syntax for writing a class is we need to mention a attribute called aura enable is the syntax we need to keep at the annotation public and all the aura enable method should be static and written is user object and srv underscore user detail and i will be passing my string variable called username string username here we can query we have to query from the object try return select id comma name comma profile dot name user role dot name from user where user name equal to catch exception e throw new aura exception handler please validate e dot get message mm -hmm. invalid okay. spelling mistake over handler exception handled exception okay over handled So what I'm trying to do here, I'll pass my username as an argument. If the username is available, it will execute. If the username is, av is not available, what happens? This is a single object query, right? Which will return, which will return an exception saying that no rows found exception. So we are throwing that exception as a handled exception so that we can display to user there is no record found instead of just leaving as an omitting exceptions. Yeah. So as yesterday, let me open the lightning developer sheet, lightning cheat sheet, component, this is a tag that is available. So in this, you clear, they clearly mention how to call whenever the button clicks, let's say, uh, 
और एट्रीब्यूट कॉम्पोनेंट से This is calling an Apex class. This is calling an Apex class. Okay. In helper method, I'm calling this. In helper, I'm calling this. Control A, Shift to Tab, Component. And let's say HLP underscore user details. Now I need to call which controller? I need to call the controller called user detail server, right? So first yeah. in the component level, we need to mention which controller is that. controller equal to. So I mentioned my controller name. Now the next important is that we need to call only the method which we want to access server user detail. In the helper, I'm mentioning C dot server user detail. So A dot set param what is the parameter that we had here username right username colon how to get our username from here where you name equal to component because we need to read a data using attribute right yeah. component dot get v dot attribute name component dot get v dot attribute name so you got un username yes once you had a callback once you had a callback then if it is a success if it is a success then you need to update back to return value whatever return you are getting that you need to update it back component dot set v dot attribute name comma action dot get written value I think I think I'm missing it server action from component. Problem is the JavaScript syntax. Possible parameters from Lightning component to controller. Calling topics controller method Lightning component. It's perfect. A got written value. Neither has A dot get in written value. Perfect, right? Yes. Looks like maybe one of us are it. Okay. Else if let's say else if what if action got state sorry get state state equal to equal to error e r o r get state equal to error okay yeah. now what i need to do i need to get my error message so whatever i i'm passing here i need to get that error messages right yeah. alert action dot get error of zero dot message action dot get error of dot message now i wanted to use this it's very easy that what i'll do inside this lightning card only i'll try to use this so if you want to call another component calling another component inside another C++ 
cmp is if you want to call another component inside another component then you need to represent c column your component name user info display right and then here you need to pass username here you need to pass where is the username that you are entering username you are entering from a username right so all you need to pass equal to v dot username and the attribute name here is username so now let me load it let's see here i can see for coming you v dot user detail dot uh what's this one name i'll enter my user detail and we'll see whether we are getting anything or not yeah. refresh LIGHT lightning colon button label get details TITLD title get details on click equal to how to call your server action it's C dot get details right so now i need to define my server correction server is defined i mean control is defined how to call your helper to call your helper you need to use helper dot helper method name helper dot helper method name and then you need to pass your component let's say whether we are getting okay anyway refresh so we have a get details here let's say d i'm saying get details inspect elements console Keeping is from 16 later will ignore KHP response status. Okay. Uh, alert. E order or error. get details error so there is a issue with my error lines pro coding okay get details please validate list as no rows for the assignment as subject this is ever we expected right 
so whatever you see generally in the try the message tag in the try the message tag will resist list as no rows because the whatever hhs were searching then that will have no rows which is an exception so we are returning back what's the error at a server level to a lightning component okay so here we need to understand in the calling a server action what we did here this from here till here is the starting and ending line of a server action okay first one component dot get v dot c dot your apex function name apex function name i mean apex method name okay and parameters should go within the same sequence with the same names you should not change the parameter names parameter name should be same because it communicates through a json you know right if json means that key value pair and it's a case sensitive right yeah so here set parameters set callback is the one now we are initiating to call your server method from a controller this dot function of yeah function function of action in action now what happens in action whatever the server response is there everything will be holded inside action the server response in the sense the apex class method response in that we have a status called get state which will be success error or fail fatal error so if you found this then the communication is not done so if the state is success and will be having a return value if the state is success you will have return value okay if state is error you will get you will have get error you don't have a return value here you will be having get error other than success wherever you can see you can see only a variable called method called get error in the this one and we got collection of errors if the collection of errors is greater than 0 not blank then of 0 on of 0 dot message is means error message is not blank then we are alerting that message what is our communication pattern the communication pattern is from component to controller controller to helper helper to server right right yes now here this is my lightning button component from component i am calling my controller from controller i am calling my helper my helper is calling my server why we need helpers why we need helpers for validation purpose no helper helper functions can be reusable okay helper functions can be reusable, reusable. how to reuse let me do one thing i'll have this another method saying that alert details okay this is my method function as i said whenever you are writing a new function you need to keep a comma for the previous one okay yeah component comma event comma helper to call your helper you need to say helper dot HLP component, right? Yes. Let me do details underscore on component comma helper. Now I am using another helper method. You can see here I will create another helper method underscore one function. To call your helper, you need to have a parameter called helper in the communication component. comma helper is mandatory then only you can able to call okay so now what you can do helper alert i am at v2 let's say i am at v2 you now you will get another alert called i am at v2 right yeah so i just saying this helper method alert details i'll update to a button called ui 
button v u t t o n label get user title okay user now chap you can chap and and the a event on the two which event you will be having here for a ui you have event called press for ui you have a events called press yes. okay title was not found okay but no issues i'll take off okay you have a event called press okay rest all you have on click on change but only for ui the difference is press if i click get details it will give list as no response fine i am at v2 and you can see it is calling right yeah so the helper methods can be reusable you don't want to write again and again but if i have a controller i can't call this controller within this alert details okay let's say i am keeping it get the tls details refresh you see it's not calling right I am clicking it, but still it is not calling because this will never go to understand. Let me write even this keyword, this dot. So here I need to use small this only. This dot. Refresh. Let's see, it is not working, isn't it? So the lightning communication always. You need to use helpers. Controllers cannot be reusable. Let's see. My, then again, code can be rewritten. Only if I had an entire business logic within the controller, what happens? I end up in writing a duplicate line of code because I don't have a reusable functionality. So, because of to avoid such conflicts, so we are using helper methods to solve our issues. Okay. Yeah. How many ways we can communicate the information between component to component? component to component yes which way we are communicating now currently um we are communicating component to control no we are communicating right demo component is the one we are loading here right yes but inside i am loading my user detail also user details also user info display also right inside demo component only i am displaying my user info display isn't it oh yeah 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 how i am passing my username from there to here from uh, component to component yes so let's say i'll write a proper naming convention i'll write a proper name now ba underscore fifty at present dot com get details. Now you got input the Lakshmi Deepak right because this is actual name proper username right? Yes. So here I am entering, but here that username is passing down all the way to the user info class component, and I am getting those results, right? Yeah. Now tell me uh, how we are communicating. Here the communication is happening. Data process is happening through attributes. Through attributes. Here you can see we passed our attribute directly. Now you can see this place. User info display username equal to v dot username. This username is from a user info display class, and this is from a the attribute of edit page, demo component. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. So, will you able to build the same application new system now? Yeah, I'll do. Okay, share your screen and start doing.